Hey guys. Hi, well, Wiener Butts. Well, hello. <laughs> well, hello. Mm. Quite mm. welcome home yeah. to Us. you and me. <laughs> to we. <laughs> Uh-huh. To we. To we. We just got back from a super rad tour. Yeah. The personal space tour. That's right. A little Rick and Morty joke in there. And this this podcast is going to be wholly devoted to just blurring the lines between KTP and about podcasts. This is <laughs> yeah, right. All let's about the KTP tour. Let's get real blurry. <laughs> yeah, let's get real blurry. <laughs> yeah, get weird. Okay, so we're definitely putting a, uploading a photo of us just real blurry, just right? Blurry one, <laughs> just yeah. a yeah. blurry version <laughs> yeah. of the tour really? poster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> about.com. I like the nope, idea of That's not it. Of <laughs> oh my God, our website. Um, nice. About- <laughs> I like the idea of uh, just a normal picture and we'll just pixelate certain parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that are totally exactly. unnecessary. Yeah. It's like unne- this week in unnecessary censorship. Exactly. All right. <clears throat> Sweet. There's my homework for the day. <laughs> there we go. So we just made Sandy do stuff. So yeah. yeah. We just got back from an awesome tour. We met a lot of really cool musicians mm. and we're already planning the next tour because that's how King Taylor Project do. do. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. so that was a very good do. <laughs> This podcast is probably just going to be us talking about how awesome the tour was, right, guys? Yeah. I'd imagine so. Yeah, yeah I think so. that's cool. That's fine with me. Yeah. It, it's kind of cool to take it back to where it started, too. Yeah. We were just chatting this morning about how when we started this podcast, it was never our intent to have a guest on every single show. Right. Because this is... The, the rhythms of hosting someone are very different than the rhythms of just talking to each other. We just have a lot of really awesome friends and people that we want on the podcast. So we got a little carried away. Hard to resist. It it's is true. hard to resist. Yeah. It's those blue laser eyes, Davey. That's right. <laughs> it's just la- like tractor beams. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, okay, we did, just, we did just get back from the tour. By the time this podcast, you hear this podcast, it is likely that we will be either on stage with Broken Stems hmm. or we will have played that show. We've got... So Broken Stems was our last guest. Mm-hmm. And at the end of that podcast, you heard them invite us to open their show. Did yeah. we keep that in? Yeah, which okay. is happening yeah. December 3rd, which will have happened Saturday. In, the, in the past. In the, but yeah. right now, it's tomorrow. And it's, we're very excited about sharing the stage with them and Creature, and in, the Creature in the Woods. Creature in the Woods, yeah. And Kayla Hope is going to be playing during uh, the open bar kind That's of rad. like hangout hour yeah. That's rad. before, open which is bar. going to be awesome. My goodness. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Do they want us to play well? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> That's dangerous. Right? I run on whiskey. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> Um, so y'all want to talk about the, the tour, some yes, good please. experiences, some bad stuff. How about on three, let's all at the same time mm-hmm. say three things that we learned on this tour. Okay. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. three I like bubbles. sleeping in the I don't need to set my compressor seat. quite uh, as high. I also and, uh, really I'm think gay just now. really the three really bubbles and, and the whole thing. I don't mind sleeping Davey's in living room. Now. There's one right in the center. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> yep. I think we did that. I think we definitely did that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what's I'd I'd like to hear Sandy's best and worst. Oh. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Cue the song. Sandy's best and worst. Best. Poor brothers. Worst. Santeria requests in Dallas. Sandy's best and worst. So well, the one night we met two great bands. Yeah, yeah, two really great bands. Yeah, that, that was in Dallas. Uh huh. Yeah, at Crown and Harp, and we met and played with the Poor Brothers, which... who we are stealing many oh, yeah. a joke from. Absolutely, Sorry, guys. absolutely. We're they don't need them. to know. Oh yeah. well, they're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> also, we played with Tahoma, which is another awesome band. We had not heard them before that day. We listened to their album actually right before we started the show.
Yeah, <laughs> blown away. Those guys, I don't know that I've ever seen another band self mix so well. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. It was ridiculous. It sounded like an album. Yeah. Just what they had coming out of their amps. And yeah. the drummer, Jeff, his volume control, just the whole thing. It was so brilliantly mixed. It sounded so professional just out of it did their Wh- own separate amps which I, I don't know i actually think is even more rare when you've got two guitar players yeah and that's oh, in a band because they're always but they they're yeah absolutely and the amps were right next to each other the mm-hmm. guitar amps were right next to each other the guitar players were right next to each other I'm, I'm not trying to be guitar heavy it's just it's it's definitely the worst offenders are guitar players yeah they have it's the most obnoxious thing but these guys were just dead on mm-hmm. and the the lead everything from the lead tone the rhythm all the stuff it was just like they knew where things were supposed to cut through and yeah. they weren't fighting each other for volume it was so great whole band the and- only crappy thing about that show was that it was there was a, like a dance party happening upstairs and so mm. in between every song which the poor brothers they're an acoustic mm. duo and so they were great when they were playing but as soon as they stopped it was just like mm-ts, mm-ts, yeah mm-ts, yeah. Mm-ts, yeah like coming from through the roof i would love to see them in a listening room Absolutely. Four brothers. that would be a great show anytime yeah. they're in san diego i mean not that i'm not a big dj redfoot <laughs> fan <laughs> I got you, Redfoot, and my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys were cool. They they were easy to hang with. They, well, I felt like yeah, they were kindred cool. spirits. They were our with people. Guys. They totally. were <laughs> we we would get in some serious trouble together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what were we drinking with them? It was they brought uh, in a bottle of some oh, that, that like pre infused like, whiskey. Yeah, yeah, man, what was that? Uh, they'll tell us. Yep. Yeah, we'll have to hit them. We'll up. have to get some yeah. of that. Yeah, that was rad. And, well, you know what's funny is when you said the dance music upstairs, that must have been such a good night because until you mentioned that, I had totally forgotten that. Really? Yeah. Wow. And it was so a, a, intrusive. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, yeah. The night of, mm-hmm. I just have forgotten it. Yeah. 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 And then on a, on two other totally separate nights, we were totally surprised by uh, the Laughing Goat in Boulder. Yeah. Laughing Goat was great. We showed up going like, okay, coffee shop, cool. It's got a, oh, mm-hmm. it's got a stage, cool. Oh, it's got a system. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got a sound guy. Like one surprise after another. Yeah. And we played with a gentleman named Mark Huff who lives in Nashville now. And he played a bunch of like folk and, you know, stuff like that, which was great. He was great. Yeah, and he's great been stories. Yeah, traveling he's got for a long Some time. history. Just before the fade From the last song we played All our debts were paid Just before the fade You say your heart was when this all went up in smoke Is that a tear in your eye? Oh, the weather outside The sound guy was really awesome too Just before We'll look it up. I feel like an asshole. Sorry, sound man who was so cool to us at Laughing Goat. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? Oh, we'll edit in your name in, in a totally disparate <laughs> a really voice. Way. Yeah. I'd That's look right plan. at Davey because when I say, th- when I just say, <laughs> we're just going to edit. <laughs> we, that means, yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> you. I love it. <laughs> Which, by the way, I don't, I don't know. We've never really outright s- spelled it out in the podcast but if you did not know Davy Rocket is the producer of this podcast oh, so go on all the all the cool things that happen that don't have anything to do with just sound coming out of our omni holes <laughs> 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 that, that is all Davy nice. Rocket a long time uh what, I don't know if we introduced did we do long intros on the very first podcast yeah I think we kind of did so you, if, you, that, if you want to go really back can. to that and, and hear all the stuff that all of us have done, but especially Davey, but yeah, he oh, produces thanks. this podcast <laughs> very well, I might add. It gets better every single episode. Yeah. It gets better. Yeah. So this will be the best one we've ever done. <laughs> That's how a rocket do. How a Davey rocket do. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Let's see what else. We also played with a really cool guy in uh, Norman, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. Josh's next to Josh's hometown, which is Oklahoma City. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, we played at Red Brick Bar, which the people that own that are awesome. Every time we go through there, they're really cool to us. And they're like, whatever, you want to play? Play here. Yeah. The only downside is that that smoking is allowed in the bar. And so it's the only <laughs> venue prissy. in the whole U S that we yeah. play. Mm -hmm. We're prissy. Me back. Oh, my throat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. To, I was, I was extremely sick at that point in the tour. So I was just like, man, how California do I look? <laughs> I'm in this, in this <laughs> bar and I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> I felt it was like a Zoolander kind of, I felt like almost Got the, the black, black lung. lung. <laughs> We played with a guy named Troy Petty. Troy right? McClure. Troy no, McClure, no, yes. yes. Troy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Troy McClure. <laughs> you were, may remember me from such smoky bars as Red Brick and Norman. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Was that close? You should consider uh, dying way too young. <laughs> oh. <laughs> true. We missed, wasn't it a horrible we one? Miss we missed you, Phil. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. So uh, consider it. Yeah, I will try. <laughs> don't. Please don't. I think if we're going to reenact that, I think the cause of death has to be exactly. Sandy. <laughs> Damn right. it. Too soon? No. Phil would be laughing. He would be. I think he would. When we could um, be setting yeah, out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Troy Petty. Yeah, Troy, Troy Petty. Troy yeah. Petty. Don't go down on him. Gave us a lot of really cool ideas on how to trick out a band oh, to, yeah. uh, for our next tour, which we don't have the money for right now. But when we do, man, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> right? We're going to have a, a lot of great ideas us. about international touring as well. Yeah. And some cool experiences yeah. with that. He's at an exciting, sounds like a really exciting point in his career, too. Where he just, I think he just signed a deal with a German mm -hmm. label. German label. Uh -huh. And he's been touring i mean he's been touring the u.s a lot but he he's been doing the international touring thing and it sounds like he's spent a lot of time in germany and they're just so receptive so it's really cool to hear that he's hooked up with some promoters and a label over there and what a cool mm -hmm. sound he was very uh, oh, he man. used a looper but it was so tasteful and the like the sounds he was getting out of the guitar we were kind of like i immediately turned to davy i think and was mm -hmm. like who does he sound like and he's, it was a little bit of U2. A but little, little like, bony but bear. A little, yeah. Mm -hmm. a little, yeah it and was, a little radio head. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Really Kinda cool. Kind of the little death cabby a mm -hmm. little bit, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Just really, really well done. Like almost indie rock style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ex but, exceptionally musical. Like it, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's Very cool. dynamic. Yeah. He blended some of the sensibilities of uh, EDM, which I, I feel so reluctant to say because it, mm -hmm. I, it's usually used so disparagingly among real musicians but Ooh, he was, yeah I know real musicians let me cut let's Ooh. cut that yeah <laughs> nope uh, um, <laughs> damn it that's in there now but but among musicians who play instruments live uh, I hate to, to to bring any sort of negative connotations in there but he had some of those sensibilities for sure mm -hmm. um, but just so well executed too and just a single he had an acoustic guitar mm -hmm. and some effects and a looper and he was just it was so good yeah and like you i think you pointed out you couldn't even tell the loops were seamless mm -hmm. like sometimes you wouldn't mm -hmm. notice that he had engaged a loop and you said like you said it was quantized and he was using it so well yeah yeah at least th that's my suspicion yeah Just, yeah it it was it was very good and he had a long. great voice yeah yeah he was great man what else what are some other highlights of the tour well Prescott was awesome. Oh yeah, it was Prescott was awesome. So Sandy's been friends and musical acquaintances as well for a, a, a while with uh, Candace Devine, and it was a pleasure to meet her mm -hmm. and her husband DJ. Yeah. They were just fantastic. And to meet Bodie, and their, their new baby, their new baby Bodie, and their mm -hmm. pups. Tiny human. Mm -hmm. And right. uh, banjo Ziggy and. L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L
shit? Little Lulu. shit. Was it little shit? Damn it. Oh, I'm I'm horrible. Remember. Banjo Ziggy and Lulu. 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 That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were fantastic. And so when we played um, Addictions. Addictions. That's right. When we played Addictions. Uh, I almost wanted to just call it beer. <laughs> yeah. that's, what, that's, that's right. The, the beer, beer sign behind, beer us, sign behind yeah. us. We played Addictions. Well, that's the name of our band now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and they came out and uh, and Candace got up and sang. Oh, uh, what with a yeah. treat. Couple. All my dreams came great, true man. in an yeah. instant. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was really cool. Mm-hmm. And just so many other great people. I mean, we met so many wonderful people on the yeah. tour. And what's cool about that is, well, a lot of things, but... For me, personally, I think my dad's going to be moving there. He's going to be retiring in the new year and moving there. And so it's cool to see where he's going to be and kind of familiarize myself with that because he's also a musician and he kind of wants to be able to play music. And it'll. And the day after we played that show at Addictions, we did uh, kind of walk around and look at a few other venues and try to get some ideas for where else we can play. And I think it's going to be really cool. Oh, Trill has something to say about it. Yeah. Trillian, here's the mailman, mm-hmm. so she's mm-hmm. perked up now. Uh, <laughs> Shut up! God! God! <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, we, we spent the day after our show looking around at different venues and trying to figure out like where else we could play and try to establish yeah. if we could make this somewhere that we can frequent, because it's only six hours away. It's a really cool place to be able to to go and do a few days stint, and I think we'll probably end up doing that, which is cool. <laughs> Perfect. That's my response to yep. phone notifications. Yep. That's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should drop in at the end of this uh, just a, a individual thank you to all of each one of our hosts and all the bands we played in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, we had a we had a just a wonderful time. And, and um, actually, one of the the things that was really cool for me was to see you. Uh, play in front of Lance and your dad, Davey. Play oh. in front of Lance and your dad. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that was that was a really really special. And we should mention thing. that because you played that that few songs at Laughing Go in oh, front yeah. of yeah yeah they invited Davey back specifically. So on the next tour, yes. Davey's got a show of his own separate from us because mm-hmm. he did so awesome. He did because well, he's Davey Rocket. Go on. <laughs> And I think I think too this tour was really great for us. It's I, I use this analogy and conversation a couple times with you guys. But, well, like when Swen produced my record, one of the things he told me was he watches bands come in who are good, and then they do a record, and then after the record they're great because mm-hmm. you hear what you can sound like, and then you play up to that. And um, to me, this tour did that for KTP because we don't yeah. we don't have a record yet mm-hmm. out. Um, which we're we are looking to hopefully we're we're thinking about trying to do a live EP maybe on the next tour if we can if things come together right uh, and we've got the material and the and the space to do it but um, but it did it was like man going on this tour us just being getting to get tight and be on the road together and mm-hmm. have the energy that goes with it's an indescribable energy that goes with touring that you just don't get unless you've done it mm-hmm. but we we got tight and I think we just stepped out of any sort of concern about what we thought of ourselves or what we thought other people thought of us and we mm-hmm. played better than we've ever played before yeah. and there, and we ratcheted it up I don't think there's any going yeah. back well one, one really cool thing that I realized was, uh, a lot of times in San Diego, I'm getting less sensitive about this, mm. but when audience members come up and they say, oh, wow, Sandy, you have such a great voice. Josh, you're such an amazing guitar player. And then not hearing anything, I'd be like, well, then I, I guess I'm terrible. <laughs> and on this tour, the comments that I got more than anything were, it looks like you're having so much fun or like you're so much fun to watch. And it was kind of cool to come around to that means as much to me as you're a great bass player, a great musician. Right. It's, yeah. Which you also cool heard. Which I did. Course. Yeah, I did. No, no. <laughs> but and that's it, yeah, wonderful too. But the overwhelming thing is when you look at us as a band from the audience's perspective, you get these smiling faces. And Davey definitely has a lot of energy and just always is having a great time. So that's something that stands out, I think, yeah. to people. We, that's I awesome. think, I think Davey and I also have uh, a auditory 
hallucination bias that a lot of musicians have, which oh, is that yeah. we tend not to hear compliments when they happen very well <laughs> about our playing, but we tend to notice when they don't happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, another thing that I wanted to say, um, so uh, Sandy's Worst, the uh, the night in mm. Dallas with uh, Santa Ria requests. And Separate just, night than Crown and Harp, by the Yes, way. yes. Two, we did two we dates did in Dallas. Uh, but yeah, just table of the most annoying girls I have ever seen in my life just and came we, and sat right next to us. And we live in the college area, so that's saying a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really, really is. Yeah. But um, another cool thing about touring is in town, I'd just, I'd dismiss the gig probably. If I was really irritated, I'd be like, okay, I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to make it through this one. But for some reason on tour, I was just so like, fuck you guys, <laughs> yeah. and and played this okay. bass solo yeah. in a song, and uh, Sandy Shredded and Josh were it. both just like, holy just shit, the shit out just of this it. Yeah. big fuck you solo. <laughs> yeah, was was, great. yeah, that and, doesn't happen at home. I don't, I don't know. Well, you know what's funny about that is that's what I, that's why I like the the like the visual of. Uh, like ratcheting up because you 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 go up in increments and then you hit this place and it locks in a place and you can't fall back you know that's how a ratchet works mm -hmm. but um but so it took a fuck you solo i had uh, i think my whatever song it was it was either give me one reason i think it was give me one reason yeah um I played the best solo I've ever oh, played right. in that song after your fuck you solo because I was feeding on your energy, right? So, okay, it took that to get that out of you and out of me. But then when we played Seersucker the other night, I thought it, those solos were better than mm -hmm. the ones we played there. And that's just because once you do it, You've you're there now. The You've devil. unleashed that thing. Right. <laughs> right? Yep. Which is, which is such a fun, you know, I don't know, it's a fun thing. And then we'll look back and in a year from now and be like, man, I can't, I can't believe this stuff that's coming out now. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be, it's exciting to get excited about to, to sort of, I don't, I hope this doesn't sound terribly conceited, but to, to really to become a fan of what you're doing on stage, not because you think mm. you're great because you're like, that was cool. It's outside of you. It's not, I'm great. It's like that thing right. we just did was really great. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's almost like you you can hear it with that with a with an audience ear and go like that was really exciting that was really yeah. cool, and that that the tour really gave us a lot of those experiences I think. I so agree. the second we got back, well even before we got back, we were already like, all right, when's the next one? Mm -hmm. We've already got a couple of them booked. All right, we got a couple months. We're yeah. almost there. We're just gonna like be home for a little while, and then we're gonna go back on the road. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. exciting. <laughs> Very. It, there's man, and I I like the uh, <clears throat> the road warrior thing. I watched I Am Road Comic. Have you yeah, seen yeah. that? Oh yeah, it's such a great. If you if you get a chance to see I Am Road Comic, I think it's on Netflix still, but you can probably find it illegally on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> however you want to consume right. it. Um, but it's really great. I can't remember the, who who produced this. and directed it this moment, but there's lots of great road comics on there, and I d identified so much. With that, because there's such a spirit. Well, without the burnout, because they those guys, it's it's probably for for one thing much harder being a comic than it is being a musician. But but I will say there is such a really a cool. There's a tenacity and like a fulfillment and an aliveness. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Of being on the road, there's just like this energy, like you're you're. Pounding trail mix and drinking coffee and getting to the next city, and then you really just want to go on stage. Like yeah, the we did. So the difference for for me that I noticed on this tour, especially, was we did five shows in a row, which is not abnormal, really. I mean, it's not as common when we're home, but it's not abnormal to have that on the schedule. We did five shows in a row in four different cities, and we had a like two days off after that and by the second day Davey and I looked at each other and we're like god we're bored let's yeah. get on like we can't wait to get back yeah. on stage yeah. it's this energy of like well let's just play every night who yeah. cares if we're driving you know eight hours or whatever it doesn't really matter we're all just excited to get back on stage and talk about you know the stuff that was awesome and the the way that we have improved since the last show which was maybe six hours ago and then we're gonna like <laughs> yeah. take that and bring it to a new city and share that energy and it was really it's really fun it was very invigorating i guess yeah would be, that's a good yeah. word 
Yeah, you feel like you're building something. You're building a franchise. You're bu- anyway. It was. It, it's. It's all of the stuff that you get. Like you said, at home, you play X amount of shows in a week, and it's hard, it, it's easy to lose sight of whether or not you're building anything because you're keeping mm-hmm. the lights on and the the focus is this is my job, you know. And it so it's work. So it's supposed to feel like work, you know. So mm-hmm. sometimes it is. Other times we get great shows like the one we've got coming up tomorrow with Broken Stems, Creature in the Woods. And who's doing the courtyard thing? Kayla Hope. Kayla Hope, who's who's playing the thing. That's going to be so fun, and that's going to be one we look. And uh, in a couple of weeks, we're doing a taping of Tonight in San Diego. Mm-hmm. We're the musical guests on that show. We're going to be on there with Andy Altman mm-hmm. from Gig Town, who was on episode three of our podcast. I think three or three four. Or four. I can't remember. <clears throat> um, but so that's going to be a great one. And those are two really, really cool, big reward, like, holy shit, two great things in one month is yeah. super exciting. It's like a, it's a cool homecoming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're on the road, every show's a treat. Even That's true. if it's not a particular if it w- if the same venue were in your hometown and it was just your Thursday gig, you'd be like whatever. But when you're on the road, there's something about we're building a franchise here. Mm-hmm. We've got t- you know, you get two fans in your hometown on a night and you're like, "Okay, two more fans, cool." You get two fans in another city, you're like, "Dude, we've got fans in another city." <laughs> you know, yeah, right. Like that's right. cool. There's yeah. something exciting about. It. And mm-hmm. not to uh, we love you San Diego. We love you guys. We love everyone. Every single person who comes up and says, "Hi, we love your music and follows us." Right. Is so important. But it's like, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Right. But it's like being bladder cancer or something in San Diego. And when we go on tour, it's like we got into the lymph nodes. <laughs> you know? We are We're spreading fucking your whole shit up. <laughs> <laughs> and that that should do it. That should Davey do it. Davey won the podcast. I did it. <laughs> Special thanks to our wonderful hosts for this tour. Barb and Ken, Andrew, Rebecca, Lance, Dave, Andy and Denise Taylor, who support us on Patreon, Jeremy and Deanna, who supported us on Tour Sleeper, Troy, Desiree and Rodrigo of Regal Photography, and Candace and DJ. Couldn't have done it without you. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> How was the inflection? Did I, did I give any? Anyone- Music on this episode brought to you by. Nope. I'm not going to say brought to you by. What are we? KPBS? Music on this episode is. Fuck. <laughs> music, music on this episode. Wait, what did I? What do I normally say? Music, music is what you provided by. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Who am I? <laughs> music on this episode provided by Poor Brothers, Tahoma, Mark Huff, and Troy Petty. <laughs> <laughs>